this was the first time we've done the etched cutout, which I painted it last time and it was just with a template, which was a lot, a lot, a lot harder. Why did I just get that out? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the whole thing, the bag part white, just because I don't wanna paint a whole bunch of um, white stripes and then blue stripes. If I could get this open. Sorry about that. Um, so, that's what I'm gonna do. No, I know, like I thought about leaving the lines off too and you could do like some kind of straw looking um, tan. What Could you do like tan in darker, like a tan and a brown stripes? to do um i don't know there's all just coral you could do like a coral and navy mm. or how about navy and pink i think i'm going to just change course here real fast and do that i think that might look really really cute So, yeah, let's just do something a little different. Coral and navy, look at that. That's going to be so cute. Okay, so we're going to replace these two colors. And then if we do coral and navy, then I'll have to think about what color to make up my bottle. Maybe I could still use some blue. Oh, that's going to be so cute. The towel could be, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be cute, right? Okay, so if I did coral and navy, we're going to replace all the pink with coral, and I'll still do white for the bag. I'll do white and navy or... You know, I'm supposed to have it all together, but I don't. So y'all just see coming out with me. You know. I wonder if I did. I feel like that kind of takes away from the, the color a little bit. I was just trying to think of something that I could use that wasn't white, but I think I'll just have to do white and we'll just have to roll with it, right? <laughs> So the good thing about these signs being etched is that you can literally just paint the whole thing. Paint the whole thing and you can see in between, I mean, you can see where the lines are. Uh, versus like if you drew out the pattern first and then you went back and you know, you wouldn't be able to paint over the lines, I guess, if you just used a template. So that is a good thing about this. I will have to paint the navy on top of the white, which is kind of a bummer, but sometimes that is easier than painting a bunch of white lines and then a bunch of navy lines. So. That's just how I do things. So I'm just going to coat this whole thing with white. So what's everybody up to this week? Anybody, Juanita's going out of town. So that is exciting. I didn't ask you where you were going, Juanita, but I didn't want to be nosy. But, you know, I didn't think you would mind me asking you that, but anywhere fun i'm going to on sunday i am going to arkansas with some of my business friends we were in a mastermind together and yes sir well i can't get it right now no i can't get it Um, 
So, what was I saying? Oh, uh, business friends, mastermind, Arkansas, um, all of the above. Um, so that's what I'm doing on Sunday. We are getting together. So a lot of you know Amy from Amy and Art. She's one of, well, she is my my bestest biz bestie. But she, we are all, we have a big friend group together. Um, we're on a mastermind together. And so we, she can't go, which is super, I'm really bummed about it. Um, but I understand she's got a lot going on right now. So um, she won't be there, but uh, all, a lot of the other ladies are going to be there. So we're going to go and talk business and help each other out on a few things and do that, which will be so nice. It's hard to leave town when you have a business, but if you don't just make yourself do it, then you're not ever going to do it. So I didn't think I was going to be able to go, but my husband said it was okay. And so I am running with it. Um, Don's, Don is playing catch up at home this week after extra work hours last week. Oh, yes. Isn't it like it's just that like you're constantly juggling and when you like, when you're doing really good in this area or you're, you know, working hard in this area, then all the balls fall and you know, that's what I feel like, Don. Like, it's just hard to keep everything going smoothly at once. Like, do some extra in one area, then you know you're gonna pay for it in the other area. Um, let's see. Okay, so Juanita is going to. Is it Leavenworth? Well, you can't tell me because you keep <laughs> Leavenworth, Leavenworth, Washington. Um, I think you said Little Bavarian Town. Which will be so fun. Let's see. Oh, you're in Chicago again, Leslie. That's awesome. Um, I'm glad that you get to go there frequently. Um, it's really probably makes it so much easier. But I'm just doing this. I'm tired. It makes it easier to be away from your family if you can just at least go frequently to visit. Because I know all of your family is in Chicago and all your kiddos and grandkids. And that's got to be like hard to be away from your grandkid grandkids like that. Okay. I don't remember how the Navy is going to look like cover over the white sometimes sometimes the coverage is good and sometimes it's really pretty so we'll find out so white is just a pain i usually use chalk acrylic for my white and um, it has a better better coverage and you don't have to do as many layers. But it's just almost no way around it. Now, sometimes when you do white underneath a color, if like, so I'm going to be using coral here. Uh, if, if I kind of have white on the bag handles and it's like all, it's not consistently covering everything, it might make that coral show up as a different color where the white is underneath versus where the tan is underneath, if that makes sense. Um, so sometimes it's best just to cover the whole thing. That way it's just consistent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I thought I would try to paint around the, the bag handles, but you know, sometimes it's just easier to do this. Depends on what you're painting. Sometimes it can can make it see that there is a little bit of blue in that in that paint, um, just to make it that white. I, this white chalk paint is a little bit brighter of a white, so they obviously add a little bit of blue to it. 
Mm-hmm. But that, that bottle, it just had, doesn't show, shook up well. So, I got some good feet. Hey, Jennifer. Oh my gosh, Jennifer. I have an Instagram message from you that I need to answer. It's been crazy around here, okay? I keep, we had storms. Well, you know, because you're sort of semi, well, you're not in my, my area, but you know, in the approximate area. The storms last week, and we didn't have power for 24 hours on Friday, and then, you know, the weekend, and then yesterday, I randomly, we lost power from, like, 11 to 5, and I was like, okay, guys, we cannot run a business like this. How can you expect me to run a business with no, like, and we have a really heavily shaded lot. So I don't get good cell reception um, where we live. So when the power goes out, I really, we, we have like a cell phone booster that we bought that kind of boosts the signal. And that works great, but obviously it needs power. So when the power goes out, I almost can't even use my phone either. So it just causes, it causes quite the situation for online stuff. So I'm behind on everything. And then last Monday, there were storms and our internet was out. So I feel like I almost just lost like almost three days worth of work, not being able to use internet. Hey, Patty, how are you? You've been watching the wrong video. Just figured out until you saw Spring Project. So I'm sorry, well, here, I was late, and so that's probably also why you were watching the wrong um, video, because you probably couldn't find my video, because I was 10 minutes late trying to mess around with my lights, because for some reason, my computer just, I don't know. Do not know. It only does this with StreamYard. It didn't do this with Zoom, when I used to use Zoom, so, I don't know. It's annoying. It's frustrating. I'm thinking. Okay. I am seriously in love with chartreuse yellow lately. And so we are painting this Beach Vibes sign. And we are, we, 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 everybody has decided we're going to do coral. Coral and this isn't really coral. It's more pink, but coral and navy, maybe some pink accents. And I'm wondering if I could just use the chartreuse somewhere. I'm just loving that color. Or should I just use the green? The green might just look better. Probably the green, right? I'm trying to decide all my colors that I'm gonna be replacing. So I'm going to do navy and white on the bag. The hat is going to be coral. This will be green. My towel. Hmm. I'm thinking my towel might be red. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does match my shirt. Um, you like the yellow better, Juanita? Yeah, I just love chartreuse yellow. So then I could do the towel yellow, or I could do the towel this color. I think I might do it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. This is so cute. Yeah. So the first one is that I, that I painted is like bright pinks and blues and greens and yellows and all of the things. That was a first color combo, but I feel like I just need to go with something a little bit different just to give it, um, you know, see what a different set of colors will look like. Okay, Tammy, you like the yellow too? Yay, because I love it. I don't know why, but I just love chartreuse yellow. I love it. It's so cute. So we'll do, I'm just gonna paint navy and then the coral here. Ooh, and then I can paint the words navy or even white. Uh, and then we'll just kind of, I'm a very visual person, so I, 
I really need to see what things look like sometimes before, you know, sometimes I can't like picture it all in my head. But the shape is so good because I haven't used it in a while. So <laughs> you're pro yellow as well. Yellow is happy. Hey Marie, how are you? So this is Deep Midnight Blue from Deco Art. We're gonna try that. And if it doesn't cover well, then I might try a folk art navy color and just see what happens. Okay, let's see here. So we're gonna I'm probably gonna need to do two coats. You know, this part is no fun. You could, you know, if you were, if you like to use uh, paint pens, you could probably just cover this whole thing with paint pens and just use those instead. I'm going to try an angled brush for this. And obviously, it doesn't want to be crazy perfect with it, right? Okay. It's just hard in a way because the straps are here. So, you know, this one probably will take a little bit of time because of that, but it's so cute. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could paint the whole bag just one solid color and skip all of this. There's a lot of different things that you could do with the bag. If you have like a cute stencil, you could even probably just do a really cute like stencil design on it. Black and white would be good, Tammy. Um, you had said that if, if this was, if you were painting this, you would paint it black and white. And I'm beginning to think you're really smart because Black would be a really easy color. Because then you could just use a black marker and like clean up your lines perfectly. But you know, I like to do things the hard way, so. But you see, like, this would take forever if you just did all the white lines like this and then went all back and did all the blue lines like this. Nobody, like, I'd rather paint two layers on the blue than three layers of the white stripes and then three layers of blue. So this, this size is, I believe it's 16 inches. Um, and this sign, I have four different size options for this one. So I have like a seven inch, which is like a little attachment sign size, seven inch, and then um, 12, 16, and 21. So if you were painting a bigger one, this part would be a lot easier. And then also if you're painting a smaller one, it would be easier too, because then you could probably just use mostly paint markers. And I do have a navy paint marker, so I'll probably try to like outline it. concentration here. Um, thank you, Marie. What have you been up to? You look like you've been doing all kinds of things this summer. You guys, if you don't follow the Crafty Palette, um, that is Marie. That is her business and she makes door hangers as well. So go follow, follow her after the video. She is the one that told me or she didn't tell me, but I saw on her post uh, about this, that glitter that I've been using lately. 
lends it from Marie. So thank you for that. I never even knew that existed. So I'd never pay attention to the paints in that particular aisle of Hobby Lobby, which is where it came from. Uh, I never pay attention to those paints. So I just go to the acrylic paints. So I would have never known it existed. Although I did buy blending for it. So I guess I have paid attention a little bit. So here, I'm just gonna have to, maybe I'll paint around this with sunglasses. She said, I don't know what color I'm gonna do these sunglasses. And if I do it in a color that doesn't cover the blue well. Let's see. Smaller. Oh yes, CPR. Marie also teaches CPR, so yeah. I I would assume summertime you probably have to do it a lot, right? With like people getting certified for lifeguard stuff, and then a lot of businesses probably do things more in the summertime. There's a gnat flying around me, so if y'all see me swatting at something, I'm not crazy. I mean, I might be crazy, but I'm not imagining things inside my head. Even though it seems like this is a little bit tedious, it's so much easier when these lines are etched for you because if you draw them out and you paint over, them then you can't see where they were but these you can still see where they were um, underneath and so it makes it so much easier i should have done a cutout for the sunglasses and i didn't think about it until actually last week i was looking at it going why didn't i do a cutout for those sunglasses and that, then you could just put sunglasses and glue it on there and that would have made life I just didn't think about it. I was just thinking about the words. I am going to try to use, you know, a paint pen and cut in these lines. So I think that will clean it up. I do have a, a navy pasta. Pins are wonderful to get the job done. We are all a little bit crazy, Juanita. We are in our own ways. I mean, I when I, when I first met my husband, I he still laughs because I was like, I promise I'm normal. Like I'm I'm just like a normal person, normal. And he was like, You're not normal. Um, meaning that most everybody else in the world is crazy and the normal people really are the crazy ones because there's more crazy than normal uh but i i told now i was like i promise i'm normal not a weirdo not because i did anything but you know when you meet somebody for the first time <laughs> i don't know i just feel like in the dating world you know there's just a lot of crazy people out there so i was like i promise i i'm actually a normal person just a regular like as if you would believe that from somebody that you just met, but turns out that was right. I am normal. So these little lazy Susans are great for stuff like this. I like to just kind of flip my sign around and get paint it at different angles that is the angles that are easier for me to get like these corners rather than you know trying to struggle i just i just put my signs all all around so now we got all these little let's see i'm gonna go ahead and see what this navy looks like i'm gonna try to 
Juanita said, I'm pretty sure I'm not normal, whatever. <laughs> yes, you're normal, Juanita. You are normal. Let me try to like. You know, it makes it easier. Still, I made a mess, but, and I got. Must have just been from the paint bottle. I have little crumbly things all over the sign. Is it finally summer where everybody is? Like summer just came in with full force here in Texas. Like it was so cool for so long. And then all of a sudden, like yesterday, it's like 96 degrees and it was so hot. My husband was outside all day long working and I just felt terrible that he was outside in this weather. Because it is insane. And I feel like it's been that way with everybody everywhere, like kind of unseasonably cooler than normal. So this could actually be like a pool bag too. Um, it's kind of limiting with beach vibes on it. So I think I'm gonna do a separate listing and just either put nothing on it or or maybe I could just give the option of wording like, um, I've done howdy on here. I've done, um, Hello Summer, I think I've done on here before. I just don't have pictures of those. I have a video I made of doing the howdy, I think. But you could, or even just a last name would be really cool on here. I feel like I put beach vibes on everything. Summer vibes, beach vibes. I don't know. It's just something different than Hello Summer. Which I like, but you know, sunshine and tan lines, I guess. Some people will have that. Okay, so that may be actually really, really clever. Well, Amy says you've been having summer for weeks, and the last few days it cooled down. It's weird. Juanita said we don't have quite summer yet, but you think it's coming. So Juanita, in Washington, like your summer is probably going to be like from like closer to the first of like, I don't know, like by, it's probably normally like mid June to what, like mid August. I don't, I don't know. Or do y'all just have like two months? I can't remember. Um, so that covered pretty well, as you can see. I'm just going to have to like kind of slightly go over it. Sun, uh, sunshine and tan lines would be cute, right? Yeah. Wear your sunscreen. <laughs> um, that would be cute. The Lazy Susan is definitely a good idea for this uh, project. Definitely. So you see the blue, um, you still have to kind of go over in a couple of areas, but it's, it was way faster than sitting there trying to paint all those white stripes and then turning around and trying to paint all the blue stripes. Just made it a lot better. I'm just kind of quickly going through and you know if you cut this out on like this cutout is MDF. 
but if it were cut out on like a birch or something, you could also use the painter's tape to do your stripes, which would make life a lot easier. You just can't do that on the MDF because it there's no grain like wood grain for the paint to soak into. So when you put tape over the paint, it adheres to the paint layer. And then when you pull it off, it pulls off the paint. One bummer of using MDF um, is that. Because that definitely would make this project a little bit easier. But it's good practice on straight lines. Uh, I saw that I was reading Juanita's comments like oh you should do that and post them in the group and I was thinking what was I talking about what do I need to do and post in the group I can't I can't I can't think about it. And then I was like uh she's probably talking to somebody else yes Marie I did see and this was on one of the days where I had the spotty internet situation so I was never able to like really I don't know if I commented or I don't know maybe I tried to comment but it didn't go through I can't, I can't remember but I did see that you put some of your lettering on your page and I was like she needs to put that post that in the group so it made me happy to see it because not a lot of people post in the for the love of letters group and i just think you know people get busy and you know, it's not their primary concern but i'd like to see that people are utilizing the lettering challenges and they are helpful because then i'm like okay people are using it otherwise i just think nobody's even doing these so that made me happy to see that Oops, I can and you do a, such a good job, Marie. Really good job. Your lettering looks great. Okay, let's see. Let's do this little square here. No, I'm going to go back. I I myself I sit here at Marie and say that to you like oh you should post that in the group and blah 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 well, whenever I was on vacation two weeks ago, I sat and did a lot of, in the morning, I got up and did some lettering for a little while because I never get to do that. And so I was like, I'm going to do it. Um, and I lettered some of the words on the lettering challenge quite a bit, actually. And I never put some of them. So shame on me. I'm sitting here telling you that you should. And it's honestly because I got busy. <laughs> I got busy and forgot. So there you have it. And it's my group. So, <laughs> Marie, if you post this afternoon, I'll post this afternoon. I'm going to try to remember. 
Like I was like, I'm going to do all these. And every month I say, I'm going to sit down and do all the words and then just post each day. Post the words for that day. And every single, every single month I don't. Because of something, so. I'm taking a break from orders, painted sign orders. I don't really do a lot now as it is, but I do my attachment signs. And I've decided to take a short break from doing those because I cannot keep up with all of the things. And I want to be able to devote my energy to lives and my groups and uh, the sign painting orders are just taking too much of my time. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do that for a month, see what happens, could be a disaster, but yeah, so hopefully I'll have more time. This almost looks black and white, so you could imagine what it will look like if it were black and white. No, Juanita, I'm so terrible that I just can't believe I didn't I forgot to post in the group, you know. Let's see. Juanita says she used to try and do the word a day and then she sacked off. That's well that's what I meant. Like I was gonna do like uh do all the words in one day and just do them all at once, but then take a picture of each individual word. And post once a day, you know, of the word or video or something, but that hasn't happened. Okay, so this is navy. It's hard. It's hard to see because of the lighting, but it is navy. Hopefully, it doesn't look weird once I put the coral on there because it. So I'm gonna try this. This is not really coral. This is wildberry. Um, from Deco Art, which I love. It's one of my favorite colors. And this is Fire Coral from Full Heart. If I, we're just gonna see. The color might, might need to be somewhere in the middle of the two. Sometimes I just mix my colors if they are not, they are not what I want them to be. I just applied yesterday for the affiliate program for Full Heart because I've been using their colors here lately and I really like them. They really feel like the, the coverage is really good on them. I like Deco Art too, but um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things with Full Heart that I have been using lately that I love. And so I thought, why not just I'm gonna put a little bit of this wild berry in here. Um, why not apply for their affiliate program? Because I'm going to see if I can somehow um, sell some of their products on my website. Just for my painting group, I think it will be easy if I can sell kits of paint. Like, you know, for our monthly signs, I send them everything, but I don't send them the paint. But if I had sets of, of the paint color i don't send the paint because i i figured you know people are probably going to want to paint you know some sometimes people want to like change up the colors and where am I doing? and if i send them the paint like it's just gonna stack up right you don't need new paint every single like you don't need a whole new bottle of something every month if you're just painting a small something with it so I, I decided not to do the paint, but a lot of people, you know, don't live near a Hobby Lobby or you know, somewhere that carries the paint. So I thought if I offered that on my site, then, then those people, my members could order their paint and then I could just ship it with their, their signs if they wanted to get the paint that particular month. So, that was my thinking. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, they I got accepted, but I don't know. I need to, you know, get details. 
toolkit details on if I can do something like that or not. <laughs> Uh, just I'm doing the hat first because I wanted to see if I liked this color. And I think it's looking good. So I'm just painting over these words because I have the raised uh, cutouts <clears throat> that we'll paint, <coughs> and then I'll just put down. <coughs> And usually, <clears throat> I don't always etch the wording onto the sign. It just depends on what the wording is, because a lot of times you can kind of figure out placing that. <clears throat> but sometimes, like on this one, vibes is all print. <clears throat> Sorry, it's my allergies. That's another thing that's crazy around here. Um, sometimes it's hard to get, if y'all are like me. I'll, I'll sit and stare at it forever, being nervous to like glue it down. Yes, even me, um, because I'm afraid that I'm going to like put it in the wrong spot. So I like to have those, those etched lines so I can kind of see. <clears throat> if it's all one word and it's all connected, then I don't worry about it. Because then, then that's just a matter of centering it. But when they're printed letters, and you got to get all those even and straight, it's a little more tricky. So, like, an affiliate, like, you know, it depends on the the program and the <clears throat> the affiliate program. Some affiliate programs you can get like a commission off of like products um, that you recommend that your followers um, use a link to purchase <coughs> so with amazon they have an affiliate program so like if you if if there's something that i'm showing you guys or recommending and I give you the Amazon link for it, I'll get a commission for it. Now, Amazon gives you like a one to 3% commission. It's not like, so you could recommend a $20 something and you might get like 20 cents on it. But if it's a product, you know, you're already using and you're already recommending, like you might as well like make some sort of commission off of it, right? Um, and then some like companies will do up to 10%. Commission. It just depends on the product. I don't like, I don't usually like, I have an affiliate program for a few different things, but I don't, I don't really do it unless it's something that I use a lot and, or something that I am recommending. Um, like these red aspen nails that I use all the time. Well, I was just using them because I liked them, but I kept getting a lot of people asking me about them. And so I signed up to be an affiliate with them so that I could get commissions. I'm like, well, if I'm recommending this product all the time, I might as well, you know, get a little um, discount, whatever. So, so it just depends on the company. Now, I don't know folk art. It, it seems as if they just, I don't know that they give me like a commission off of um, anything that I recommend, but I think that I can get like, like um, maybe earn points for using products or maybe they, they will send me products to use like on the lives or a blog or, you know, something like that. So I've got to read it. I just, I got the email yesterday, but I haven't had a chance to read it. So we'll see. And then if you're a distributor, then you could sell the stuff, but I didn't see an option for that. So we'll see. I usually don't like stuff like that. Like people aren't going to go to the 
more than likely, unless they are having trouble finding something, they're not going to go to a folk art website and order their paint, right? You're just going to get it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. But I know like this past month, some of my members were having trouble finding this one color of deco art paint. And two of them had said, um, oh, I just ended up uh, going to the deco art website and ordering it. And so, you know, if that's the case, like it would be nice if I could just carry it on my website and they could just purchase it from me just because I feel like if they're getting a monthly shipment in anyway, you know, their sign mailed to them anyway, like they could just include the paint and save on shipping. I let them like order blank cutouts and things like that. And if, if they order like between a certain window, I'll add it to their subscription um, package so that they don't have to pay shipping and they get a discount too on it. So I don't know. It's not really a way of, I wouldn't do it as in a way to try to make money, but more so as an added convenience to my members. You know, because it's, you know, selling something like that could possibly end up being more trouble than it was worth, like, you know, with the markup on it. And then I have a hard time, like, selling things to people when I know, like, marking up the price when I know that they can just go to the store and get it for cheaper. Like, I'm not going to, I just don't, like, that's just not who I am. I just am not going to do that. I'm not going to recommend something on Amazon when I know Hobby Lobby or Walmart has it for cheaper just so I can get, you know, the commission. Like, but I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. I'm not going to do that to somebody. But out of convenience, if I'm somebody who doesn't live next to a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels and I am already, you know, I'm painting the monthly sign or whatever, if you could have those colors available for you to purchase. To me, that's definitely changes things a bit, right? As a, as a consumer, so they get everything in, all in one place. Hey, Gail, how are you? You woke up with a sore throat, Nikki knows. Aw, I'm so sorry. Uh, you needed to rest. You do need to rest. Get sleep. Sleep is, Sleep is so, like, anytime I start to feel, like, yucky, I just make myself sleep more. Uh, and, and it does wonders. That old sleep does wonders on your body. Imagine that. Yeah, I'm getting, like, this allergy kind of, just where I got to clear my throat all the time, I feel like. Hey, Alicia, how are you? Um, yeah, they might also, yeah, they might give me a discount code. I'm going to ask them because like, you know, before I was using deco art products, which I, I, I love deco art products too. Um, they're great, but I happened to purchase a couple of folk art colors recently and I really like them, the coverage. And what I like about folk art is it's a plaid. It's a, the company is plaid. So they sell it at Joanne. They sell it at um, Hobby Lobby. They sell it at Michaels and Walmart. So it's just easier to get to. Whereas deco art is just, um, they might sell deco art at Joanne's, but they don't, they don't sell it at Walmart. And everybody's got a Walmart, you know, by them. Everybody might not be close to a Hobby Lobby, but most people are close to Walmart. So it's just for a lot of people. It's just, you know, might be a little bit easier. I know Alicia, were you, I feel like you were one of the people that couldn't find the one color in, uh, for sign makers. So yeah. And then I was thinking the other day, like I'm, we're, we're going to be moving probably at the end of the summer and I'm moving further out. I'm not going to be by a Hobby Lobby either. Like it's already 20 minutes to Hobby Lobby as it is, but I'm going to be th even 30 minutes out. So I don't even know where the closest Hobby Lobby is. So I'm going to be in that same, I'm going to be in that same boat. So being able to get some paint colors at Walmart would be super helpful. Um,
sorry. I thought I heard water running and I'm like, ah, it's just me and Abby here. So I was like, uh, what's happening out there? But I think it was on our iPad. Um, anyway, so that's what kind of got me to thinking about like, oh, I wonder, I think I had applied for their affiliate program during the pandemic and they, it was closed to new affiliates because I think they were already having problems with supplies. Um, so I guess they weren't doing any new affiliates at that time because they said it was because of COVID and supplies and I don't know, uh, whatever. So, and then I thought, well, if they send me like some promotional stuff too, like I can use those as giveaways. Oh, and another thing that I have really enjoyed using lately is that glitterific pop glitter from Folk Art. So, you know, I've been recommending the heck out of that stuff. So anyway, you never know. I'm in the deco art helping artists program, but I just don't even do anything. <laughs> I don't do anything with it. I need to I probably should, you know, read the rules in there and I probably could get some free stuff too, but I'm just not real good with that, that kind of stuff. I'm just really bad with like, I'm like, eh, it's too much trouble to read all that. It's like, I wish I was better at that. That's why I need, I need like a, an administrative assistant to do all that kind of stuff for me. Cause I'm just like, I just don't like to like get into looking at all researching all that kind of stuff. Um, have you seen, I've never seen deco art paint at Walmart. Um, Alicia said, I like the folk art you had on our supply list for a recent, yeah, it did cover so well, right? Like, you know, I had tried folk art before, um, but just never really, and, and I had some colors that I really liked of folk art, but I just never really paid attention. And so when I started my membership, I was like, I don't want to send my members getting all these different, like get this in deco art, get this in apple barrel, get this. And, you know, I was like, I need to just pick one brand and just stick with one brand because it just makes it easier for people. And so I just picked deco art. Um, probably just cause I had a couple of colors there and I don't, I don't really know why I decided to go with deco art, but, um, I did. And that's what we've been using, which I love deco art. Deco art's great. It's just, you know, it's just harder for some people to, to get. So, and Juanita was so kind. I'm just so, I get so thrown off to like, just, uh, just this whole the summer schedule and my husband being gone has really thrown me off being gone working because normally i'm in here with the door shut and all of the things so anyhow just a small delay just a small intermission bathroom break that's what we'll call it okay i'm kind of feeling like i might have needed to do these sunglasses i don't know that yellow oh i forgot this part of the hat the chartreuse color but i don't know we'll see we'll see how it looks after i'm done with this oh i've got some coral on my white i'm obviously i'm just i'm now just making a mess Oops. I'm all out of whack. I'm all out of whack from that uh, situation. Okay. Let's see if I can get that off. That blue I accidentally dipped my paintbrush into the blue right here. You know, it's just real life, guys. It's real life. These Tuesday videos are not, they're not, uh, you know, <clears throat> Super touched up professional, I guess. They should be professional, but I'm just gonna roll with it's real life and the 
this is how it goes. Hopefully I can make anybody else has to do live videos feel better about themselves. Um, <laughs> um, she, she's <laughs> right. Like, yeah, she doesn't have my husband here to play with her. She's doing good. Actually, like, it's weird when both of us are home because we've both been here, you know, just basically her whole life. Uh, but there, you know, there's times where, you know, I'll be gone or, you know, he, my husband will be gone for something. She, she honestly, she does better when there's one of us here than when there's both of us here for some reason. It's like, she knows what to expect. Like he does things differently than I do. Right. Like she knows what to expect out of her and I together. Like she knows that I'm going to be working most of the time. She knows that she's going to have to do this or that. And then, but when it's both of us here, it's like, she tries to like, like she doesn't know what she can I don't, not get away with. Not like that, but I don't know. Like, it's just, it's just, it's sometimes easier with just her and I. And I also know, like, I know that like if she needs lunch or whatever, like I'm going to be the one to, to do that. Whereas when my husband's here, I'm like, she'll come in here and ask me for lunch. And then I don't want to say, go ask your dad, because I don't know. It's a crazy mom guilt thing. Like, even though I know I'm working and he's sitting on the couch, I still feel guilty about, by saying, go, go ask your dad. It's really weird, but I think it's just a mom thing. Like we feel like, oh, I need to be, I need to be helping too and doing my part. It's weird. So sometimes um, it's harder for me because I get that like struggle, like, oh, I feel bad. He's having to do all this stuff or he's having to, you know, whatever. Um, I'll feel, I'll sit in here and I'll feel bad when I'm trying to work and then it's distracting versus when it's just her and I like I know like there's no like internal like thought to struggle I don't know it's just it's a it's a weird and again I think it's just a mom thing that we are just born with like I think we just have a tendency to feel guilty about everything and men just don't have that and that makes me very jealous you know um <laughs> Yeah, the real gin on Tuesdays, the real gin, real life gin, the hot mess on Tuesdays, hot mess Tuesday. That's what we call it, right? Um, hey, Patty, let's say you went to go change clothes from the washer to the dryer. I was gone. Understand now, you know, it's just. <laughs> and then Juanita had said that's one sometimes like one time she plugged her iPad in, but she forgot to plug it into the wall. I've done that also. I've done that also. It's just, you know, I've done it a couple of times where I forgot to plug my laptop in and then it dies. Um, and I don't happen to look up before when it gives me the warning. <sighs> you know, I'm hoping once I get moved to my new studio office I'm gonna get a second computer so that I can just leave it there set up so I'm not like moving my laptop back and forth we'll see that obviously will require purchasing a second laptop and you know that might have to wait but um yeah when we're both here she doesn't know the expectations like yeah it's just yeah and you know like my husband doesn't care. He doesn't care if I say, go ask your dad. Like, he doesn't care. But I do, like, I don't know. I, I feel like, oh, I'm not doing enough. I'm being lazy. I'm not being lazy. I'm working. But I don't know. It's just, it's just easier when it's just her and I. I feel like. And then sometimes she'll do, like, random. It's almost like she tries to split the jobs out between us when we're both here. Like, she will be in the kitchen. Like, say my husband's getting something to eat. She'll be in the kitchen with him. She'll walk all the way into my office and be like, can you get me more water? And I'm like, like your dad is just right next to you in the kitchen. Like, why did you come all the way in here and ask me? But then she'll do the same thing to him. Like she'll be in here 
doing something and then she'll go in there and ask him for something. And I'm like, why wouldn't you just ask me? I'm right here. Like it's, it's weird. It's like, she's trying to divide the <laughs> jobs up or I don't know what, what it is or why she does that. But yeah, she just does, you know, whereas yeah, when she's just here with me, she knows, okay, mom has to work because that's just, it's been like that her whole life. Like I've been the one, doing doing the working you know like if if he is doing like um my husband will ship all the he ships all my orders and he cuts all my signs out so when he's doing the cutting like he's out in the garage so he's away um and or like say he's out doing stuff in the yard or you know all that kind of stuff like all of that's outside right so just out of sight out of mind he gets to go out there but me my work is all right here off the living room so it's just you know i'll be i'll be happy when i move to my new my new little craft room my craft studio i guess i can call it that because that is what it's going to be like i'm looking forward to it so that's where he is today is getting just our elect our electrics getting set up today and our septic is getting set up today and yeah next is not pouring the driveway but laying the gravel down for the driveway um or the brick or whatever it is that he's gonna do i don't know so i'm gonna start taking pictures and showing you guys progress as soon as i get out there i, I told him today i was like i need to get some pictures so that i can start like posting because it's super exciting and then there's a whole matter of getting my house put on the market and that's and kind of avoiding that because I know that's going to be a big pain but it's got to happen okay so here we are so far oh my gosh it's going to make such a huge difference it's going to be like 800 square feet so it's going to be like I don't know probably four four of my current offices <laughs> So I can have like a whole setup just for recording and then I can have all the lighting perfect and that can be just left as it is. Right. And then, then I can have an, a separate area where I am, you know, doing the work, doing things. I'm just going to get this white right here and all of that stuff. So it's going to make, like a huge difference in efficiency too, right? Like time. I feel like I spend so much time like moving this here and moving like just to do my lives. I have, I have my little setup here, but I have to like unplug my um, laptop, bring it in here over here, plug it in, set the lights up. Um, then they don't, you know, they're not working half the time. I, I packed up my big, big giant lights and because used to I have to like, you know, bring them out, open them up, up, plug them in, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's just, you know, it's a process. So I'll be glad when I don't have to do that process. And it will just save a lot of time. I don't have to like clean things off, you know, because usually I, this might be a mess behind me and so I'm having to like you know clean, clean it up because I don't want it looking like not that I feel like anybody's gonna like care or judge me but you know like nobody wants to be well watching a painting video with just chaotic clutter behind somebody, right? So, you know, 
So getting ready for the videos sometimes takes a little. I think I'm gonna have to like outline these in the acrylic paint, but just kind of works. And I guess I could do that after the video. That's not like it's not all perfect when you're not looking at it. What's up? I don't, I just love anybody feeling like that mine are just spend a lot of time doing this. So I don't know. That's just my main goal is just to let you guys know that, um, now, now StreamYard's delaying my video. Let you guys know that, you know, things are not, see, like the lines aren't as straight. That is such a delay on that second camera. You see, I brought my sign down and it's still up in the camera. It's probably an internet issue. Anyway, um, but I just wanted to show you the lines from far away. They look perfectly straight. Close up, they're not as straight. So, okay, so now we are going to do this and this. And. Um, and I'll have a place to put all my signs. Yes, because they are stacked up all around me. If you could see this little office, you would see they are stacked up everywhere. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think for the towel? So I'm going to do this line with the chartreuse. I'll do the sun with the chartreuse. I'm not sure about this bottle yet. I'm not sure what color that is, but what do you think? Should I do the... I could do the bottle with this blue and then the towel chartreuse or the towel light blue. I'm trying to think, unless y'all have a better color suggestion. Let me know if y'all got a better color suggestion for me to try. Um, hey, Abby. Um, Here's a light blue, and no, I think that turquoise is good. Mom, What's up? Can I can be done with your feet. Very soon. I can't believe it. I don't. Okay, or you know, we could do a yellow, an orange, but I just don't know. I don't think orange is no. We're not doing orange. That doesn't look good. Um, what do y'all think? <laughs> Yeah, they're not as perfect as they look. Um, usually when I'm done with them, they are because I really take a lot of care to make them perfect. Or I could do this navy. This light blue, chartreuse, light blue. Hmm. Does anybody have any thoughts and opinions? Maybe that's what I should do. Let's see. Hmm. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Since nobody's giving me their opinions, but it might also be, uh, the delay. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I used to do a lot of painting in my dining room too. So it's like I would have to carry all the signs into the dining room and then or cover the table. And then, you know, uh, like, then, um, like, you know, then when I'm done, uncover the table, like, you know, thank you, Amy. <laughs> thank you, Tammy. Um, like, and it was just back and forth, back and forth. Like, it's just, it's just a lot of wasted time, right? We used to always laugh and be like, just musical chairs. Like, that's what I felt like I was doing, like, with my work. We're just playing musical chairs. Back and forth. Let's see. This brush may be too. I think once I put all the accents on there here too, it like it really it'll liven it up. It won't make it look so flat looking.
this one is just a whole different look than the bright colorful one that I paint, painted before. Would y'all believe I don't even have a door hanger on my front door? Probably should get one, get one done. This is the, oh, this is the one that I did last year, this 4th of July one. And I love it so much. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, Sign Maker Society. Um, I will be opening that up at the end of the month, Lisa. So just make sure, send me a message, Lisa. Send me a message and I will get you taken care of um, so that we don't, it just, it'll be easier that way. And I'll try, sometimes uh, Facebook won't let me like initiate a message with somebody, like you have to message me first. So um, send me a message and um, I'll get you, I'll get you taken care of. Our sign, I am hopefully going to get my husband to cut later when he gets home. Our example sign out so I can get it painted and done. It's so cute. I'm excited about it. It's something fun and just kind of, Abby, what are you doing? Mm. Out of my normal color scheme, not, not normal color scheme, but it's a bright, 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 fun colors. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that looks so good. And then these are going to be navy or I might do the words in white. We'll, we'll talk about that. Y'all be thinking about the words white or the words in navy. I'm kind of thinking white might look good, but we'll see. Okay. Let's see here. Now we're going to do the blue and we're going to do this. Let's do the chartreuse first. Oh, that color looks so pretty. It's just kind of a good little pop. And I probably will accent the hat in like white and chartreuse that kind of just pulls it in. So sometimes I just have to make these choices as I go because, um, you know, I just have to see what things look like. And you just kind of add something to the sign and then it just gives it a whole nother kind of perspective, like a whole nother look, not perspective, but look. So sometimes I just do it in stages when I'm creating a new like color design. I'm just very visual. Is anybody else like that? I feel like some people can just like picture things in their head and the way that they're supposed to look. And I'm just, I just don't, I don't have that. I don't have that. I just have to see, like, sometimes I know what colors are going to look good together, you know, or what colors aren't going to look good together, but it's not, I just can't like picture the whole thing in my head. Like I need to, I need to see it. So the chartreuse will need a couple of coats just because it's a yellow and yellows are yellow. I probably could have cut, painted this white underneath and it probably would have
would have helped me out. Well, isn't that pretty? Against these colors, like when it's all, all like pulled together, it's gonna look so good. Um, you know what? I might, might do this. This is my. I'm gonna be a little. If it doesn't, we are gonna get so. I, I'm gonna get so mad because it went out two hours yesterday. It went out for about five, five or hours. six hours yesterday. Five hours. I wish it was only two hours. Yeah, I wish it was just zero hours or just one hour. Mm -hmm. I wish it was definitely two hours. Because that doesn't even take that long. It takes, it's like so fast. But Sierra's not even a number. Well, I'm getting some information here. Okay, let's see here. All right, there. I said I wasn't going to worry about that, but now I am. Hey, Chris. <laughs> You've been watching my disaster of a mess of a live today because it's been a hot mess today. Um, you know, just exactly. Tech is great until it's not, right? I just, it's just, you know, one thing after the other, but thank you for hanging out and watching. <laughs> and I'm glad you like these colors. Yeah. With the help of everyone, I decided to go with a new little color palette here. And, um, yeah. But what I am going to do is put this replay on YouTube and I will edit all the, all the craziness out. So if anybody wants to go back and watch the replay, you don't have to sit through all that mess. Because it's been, you know, a little crazy. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What do you mean, why? <laughs> you might not want them anymore. Sorry, I'll be dabby. Okay, sorry, I'm making you all quite dizzy. Um, yes, this is 16 inch patty. Um, yeah, if you're going to do that, order it today because my husband's coming home um, early and he's going to cut a bunch of. So I have several orders of some blank blank signs, and um, he's going to cut those out. So you don't have to do it today, but <clears throat> I can get it to you faster if you do it today. And don't forget to use your member discount uh, that you get for Sign Maker Society. Um, and you can find that those codes in the guides section. I'm like looking as if it's up here. In the guides section in our on our group page, you'll see those codes. Because you'll save twenty percent. You get twenty percent off of those. So don't forget to do that. All right. This this is gonna look really really good. Um, this is gonna be super cute. Whenever I accent with this chartreuse, it's gonna really like it's gonna pop gonna pop um the 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 replay will be on facebook but facebook like automatically like deletes the replays after like a certain amount of days so i try to also load them on youtube so that people can watch them there too and so that they'll just be there forever also a lot of people like to pull youtube up on their tv and watch it like when they're crafting watch it on their tv instead of having to watch it on their phone like <clears throat> you can go you know like if you have a fire stick or roku or something or i guess internet on your tv where we don't have that but we have the other abby abby stop um so a lot of people like to watch the the replays on youtube so i try to put them on youtube hey tina how are you Tina, you're Canada, right? Oh, I think I've got a good memory, so I'm thinking I am right. 
Welcome, welcome. Um, yes, so I'm gonna do, I guess I should do chartreuse for the top here, or I could do navy. What do y'all think? Navy? I think maybe navy might look good for the top of this. And then I'm gonna do welcome Tina. I'm glad you were able to you missed a lot of craziness thus far because I've been having some crazy I would say it's tech problems, but it's really it's really Jennifer problem because I forgot to plug my laptop in and it died and then we had some other issue. It probably has to do with that. I don't know. Um, anyway, it's just been some, some, some craziness and you just missed all that. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's use this. Okay, so I'm going to use this blue. And it could be too that I charged my laptop or it plugged it in, but because, because we are live streaming it like takes up a lot of um uh, battery power i don't know it's plugged in but maybe it's just not able to kind of fully get back to where it was abby you're making me nervous please i'm almost done i know but you're just digging into the words and she's over at my desk getting things and you know when you just can't see what they're doing like you know you just obviously I think it's worse okay so this is this blue is aqua sky and it the coverage on it is so good I mean, I kind of feel like it's out of sorts here, <laughs> this color. I kind of feel like I might have, I don't know. It might have looked better. A different color, but we'll see. I don't know if I love it next to the chartreuse. Kind of looks odd, but maybe if I you know, uh, accent it, it will kind of pull it all together. Okay, so we're going to do navy now. Navy top. I love these Tuesdays uh, videos because I get to just kind of play and experiment and get y'all's opinions on color and y'all have some really great things to add. Ideas that I don't think about. So these are always so fun to me just to be able to get that feedback from you guys. Chat about it. Okay. I'm gonna hurry because I'm worried about my I don't, I don't want to lose connection again. Okay, so I'm gonna do some black here while that dries, and then maybe like a white line right here. I'm not sure. White line. Either a white line or maybe just maybe I should just keep it simple and do <laughs> the navy. And there's some like sun rays here that I'll do like once I am doing all the accenting. I'll do that. <clears throat> oh man. Yes. Well, I 
because it goes down to, to like this little trap. Okay. Again, I really wish I would have thought to make these sunglasses a raised, like a raised piece to glue on. I think it would have looked so much better. Abby. I mean, you're not doing anything wrong, but it's just. Okay, so Patty, um, that would be cute. So here's what I did with the um, the first one I painted, or the thus far with this one. What I did was I got a black and white polka dot ribbon and I tied that through the holes so that it looked like it was a strap um, and it was really really cute. I'll show you a picture. That's what I did last time. This is a different color palette so I'm not sure. Yes, there are words that go there. So this is what I did, Pat. This was the other, the other color palette that I did on it. And see how I did that black and white um, polka dot? And it's really cute. Let me see if I've got, so here's here's Abby holding, holding the big sign so you can kind of see. So it kind of looks like a strap. You know, obviously it doesn't look like the other strap, but it just like putting a bow on there just felt <laughs> it felt like there wasn't a place for it. So I did the ribbon instead of the bow, and that that seemed to work well. So I'll probably do that with this too, but I'm not sure how that's gonna, you know, like what exactly I mean. Okay, so last time I used a a um, I did like spongy kind of with the yellow that was on here, but I had two different yellows. So I did like a little sponge. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it, but it's like a little a little spongy look there to make it look like a terry cloth towel and it, it was really cute but i don't know i guess i could do that with white on here so you could either get a sponge this is like a little chip brush and the only reason i'm getting this is because i remember that's what i used last time and then i just kind of Bear with me on this. Oh, I found some batteries in here. Yes. Okay, don't use that. I think I used that the first time I came to this because, hey Donna, how are you? Welcome, welcome. You you missed the chaos of my life. That you didn't miss much other than chaotic computer dying and you know shutting off twice. And Mom. Yes, Abby. Wait, Dad. No way, Jose. Yes, Dad. I'm gonna put your fingers. You're gonna put my fingers to Jill. I'm talking to my five-year-old. She just told me I was going to jail. She was going to put my fingers to go. Come and jail. Oh, you got little tiny handcuffs for me? Come on, Mom. I can't right now, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and then I'm going to go back 
can add darker chartreuse color. I mean, just more, but it just kind of, I don't know. It kind of gives it some texture. It works better when I use the other yellows. I wonder if I have a paint marker that is this. Okay. Now, I think we're pretty much ready for the all the accents, which is going to really pull it together. I don't know why I just did this, but it looked like it needed another layer, but... This would look really cute, like black and white, with hot pink. Or I thought about when I first made this sign, one of the color palettes that I considered was like a like red, white, and blue. But I've just done a lot lately in that color scheme, so I don't want to do that again. But, okay, so y'all tell me white words or blue words. I think white. I think white's going to be, we're going to make that executive decision. So while that's drying, I'm going to put this tape. Um, Donna, also, I was saying earlier, um, my husband will be cutting, he'll be cutting your order out this afternoon and it will ship out tomorrow. And been running behind because we keep losing our power for some unknown reason and yeah so tomorrow tomorrow it will ship and I use usually use well your I'm gonna have to use your PO box so you will be um, so <laughs> the words are leaving my mind. They're leaving my mind. I told him, I was like, you have to come home and you have to come home and cut some signs today because I have some people that ordered this patriotic or this star flowers thing up here. And I was like, and they need to get it in time so that they have plenty of time to paint it and use it if they want to use it for like 4th of July theme. I think for the rest of the summer, you almost can get away with it. Or maybe y'all are gonna paint it different colors. But I was like, you have to come home today and paint, I mean, a uh, cut, because I need to get these to, to these lovely saying? ladies. So, um, Patty, I was gonna tell you, if you order the bag, uh it's gonna be cute it will go cute with what we're doing in sign makers for july i'm excited to show y'all it's gonna be fun we're gonna do something fun i'll try to kind of vary between you know like farmhousey nice cute to just kind of every now and then just doing kind of something fun and out there not out there, but you know what I mean. And I wasn't, it's it's going to be a summer sign. I really went back and forth on whether or not to just do an everyday sign, but I feel like the sign that we just did could be an everyday sign. So I don't want to do two back to back. And since we didn't really do a summer, summer sign, I mean, we did the shine bright, but I wanted to do a summer and I'm not ready for summer to be over with. So I know that it's July and a lot of people are starting to paint fall, but we're just, we're going to make it summer one more month. I'm not even, I'm not even feeling bad about it. So we have plenty of, plenty of months for fall, but anyway, it's going to be cute. So your bag will go cute. Okay, I'm just cheating and using a paint pen. 
here because with these tiny letters, it's just so much faster and easier to use a paint marker. Mom, I'm, I'm trying to make something. It's going to be awesome. It is? I can't wait for it. Is it okay? It's kind of like a little hard. Except the kid are like two. All right. Oh, Donna, yes. Donna, yes. It is so, I was telling them that earlier. I was like, that it was like so delayed at the temperatures in Texas. And then all of a sudden, like yesterday, it's like 96. It was like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. And I was saying, my husband's been outside at our new property working, and I just feel so terrible. So I'm like, oh my gosh, he's probably so, so hot. Carrie, you're so funny. <laughs> I, I know you don't like fall, so you're good with summer. I think everybody's going to be good with summer. I mean, summer's just starting. You know, like, it's just starting. Come on. Let's not end it with fall just yet. We got, we got plenty. Wow, 106. Okay, well, it might not be as hot for you then <laughs> in Texas. Texas might not. Oh, it's so cold. Might not be too bad if you're, but you're probably in more dry heat, Donna, right? Like, it's not like Texas, like sweltering, wet heat. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do something fun. I'm excited. I'm going to start rolling out sneak peeks this week um, and all of the things. Yeah, I like fall too, Donna. I like fall too, but I feel like we have, okay, August, September, October. November. Usually August, September, I'll do fall slash then maybe Halloween, then we'll kind of get into Christmas. So I try to stay one month ahead of the holiday so that you guys have plenty of time to like paint everything. It's hard. You want to give people time to be able to paint, but you also like, I'm not feeling fall yet. I'm not feeling it right now. So it's hard to like get into that get into that um, that mode. Mom, this is what it's going to look like, but there's going to be so Oh, many. okay. There's going to be a lot more than this. Oh, were you talking about Georgetown, Texas, Donna? I don't know why I was thinking you were just talking about where you are. Um, 106, wow. Right. I don't even know if that was 96 was a high yesterday. I just know that when I was out and I looked at my car, it was 96, but you know. Um, yes, yes, Donna, I agree. Yes, Georgetown, yes. I don't know why I was just thinking you were saying where you were. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with white accents. I usually always do my white first. And I'm just gonna kind of just I usually do these like something's off on my accents. Maybe it's my brush. It might be that I'm too close to my sign. I know that sounds really weird, but something felt not not like my normal accents. In the brush. Maybe it was a brush. If your accents aren't going the way that you want, just check your brush. I usually add these like 
everywhere. Like along the edges and the borders. And I try to kind of hit it where that threshold line is, where the two colors meet. And then that way it's great if you feel like your colors, um, you know, your lines aren't super straight. Little trick I learned years ago at paint parties. To just kind of hide people's not very straight lines. I know. I was watching that. I don't know if y'all can hear her. Um, tell you again what that brush is. You can do it. Um, it is. So this one is number three, and this one is number four. So. I think there's pictures of these Donna in Kajabi under the tutorials or under supplies or under tutorials. I think I have them like listed out um, exactly if you need a reference um, in the member portal. But these are Master's Touch, a number three or a number four round. Okay, so now I'm going to do that same thing here. Hey, Mom, you like this music? Mom, that doesn't really sound like music, but yeah, sure. And, of course, you don't have to do this, but this is just how I... How I do it. Yes, <clears throat> So I'm going to go through and like do this with a lot of the other colors. So, this looks so cool. So, this. I'm going to go back over this with that yellow. And then here, you can't really see it on the video, but you can see the etched line. Well, I guess you can kind of. So, I just do this. There. And then the glasses I did. Some people like to do the accents with the paint marker. I just like, I don't, when I try to do that, I don't feel like mine look very good. So just stick with the paintbrush. It's just what I've always used, and so it's just what I'm used to. But if you like to do this part with a paint pen, and that's easier for you, then go for it. It's just, you know, when you learn one way of doing things, it's really hard to change. Okay, there we go. And so now I'm going to take this brush and kind of dip it in and go with navy first. And I'm going to do a little bit of slight bit of navy here instead of black. Usually I do black and white. But since we're using navy, I'm going to use navy. And I just, I wipe a lot of the paint off my brush and I'm just very lightly just go with very light pressure. 
this is where I put a little bit more pressure on it. So I like it to just be kind of random in weight, I guess, so that it takes the pressure off of me. I don't have to try to make it that thickness of the accent line consistent all the way through the whole sign. Because that's hard. So I like it. I like it to be just darker and lighter in certain spots just so that I don't have to feel like I have to keep it the same. I try not to make things symmetrical. I don't like symmetrical things uh, tend to stress me because I'm not good at keeping things symmetrical. There is a whole tutorial also in Kajabi um, for members of sign makers on how I do my accenting and what brushes I use and what kind of more, more detailed info. Okay, and now we're going to do the blue. Mom? Yes. I think I'm over to look at this. Oh, wow. That's a lot of hard work. She wants to show you guys her paper clip. Car keys. It looks like car keys. Yeah. Uh, I'm not done with them. But like there's only thousand of different thousand. Cards. I don't know if we have a thousand paper clips in there. But there, there's going to be a thousand of um, card, different kind of card keys because there's just so many. Yeah. I don't know what number it is because there's just too many. Too many, huh? And so this is when I just kind of like look. I'll just kind of see what I where I feel like I need to add this color. So I might be like, oh, you know, maybe I'll try it here. And then I'm just kind of like looking as I go to see. So I don't have it necessarily planned out in my head. But I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want to add some blue here. I don't know if it'll take away. I know the accent's really just, um, <laughs> she did that by hand. Yes. Um, or I did, I did, I did it by hand. I thought you were talking about the book. I didn't use a sponge. You could have, but it just gets hard in these little cracks. Um, or you could just use a paint marker. Paint pen. Um, the, the accents like really like pull it all together. So, Tell me yes or no. Do you think I should do this light blue on here on the navy? Or no? I kind of feel like it will look good both ways, but just not sure yet. So y'all tell me, y'all get to choose. I'm gonna now do these. Okay, then I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, Crafty DIYer, that what you were watching? Um, she's good. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the chartreuse accents, which I think are really gonna like brighten it up. And you know, sometimes you just experiment with these things and it doesn't, doesn't turn out the way you want, and that's that's okay. I think if these stripes are bigger, then I could add the um, blue to it, and it would look cute. But I think because the sign's just smaller, you got to be careful with your accents and make sure that you don't get them too big. Paper 
all you need is that one, like, you need to buy as, as many paper clips as you buy. You need to, like, buy 1,000. Wow. So, and I'm done, and I buy 1,000. You guys see my paper clip car keys? That is, that is a lot. Yep. Yeah, that's how much you need. Or okay. Do you get out of the video because you got your tank on? Okay. Not that I care about that, but it's the tank top and it's a little bit big. Car keys. Okay. So if you look closely, you see how it's kind of like tie dye looking ish. It's always hard to see. <clears throat> it may be too much for some people. It might be a little, little much. Um, it's always just hard to tell. And like, even on here, like it might have looked better if I hadn't done the accent lines there. You know. But this is a good way to just kind of pull all the colors together. If you know, got kind of a crazy. Crazy color palette. So y'all can just look and see what I do. And then now you have two examples and then you can put your touch on it. And it'll probably look fabulous. Um, thank you, Gail. Thank you, Tammy. <clears throat> yeah, how cute, how cute. I just love the chartreuse color, but you know, like in this light, I feel like it it looks a little brighter than what it really is. Like it is Abby, if I was done with my video, I wouldn't still be talking. Almost. I don't know. I'm gonna do this a little bit more <clears throat> of this color here. And then It's going to lighten it up, too, like once I put the white letters on. Just because this is not very wide, I got a little crazy with these accents. I'm just going to kind of go back over it with some glue. Darken it up just a tad. Let's see. I almost slipped off the chair. I'm going to fall off the chair. Mm, glad you didn't. Okay. If I did, you have to call the airlines and you have to stop your video. I mean, I don't think that I would have to do that just if you fell out of your chair. Just kind of. Some of these were a little. Okay. Cute. And y'all might have like not want all that busyness there and just kept the busyness on the hat. That's up to y'all. Now I'm going to put these words on. Yeah, the accents always just pull everything together. So I always put holes in mine right here, Gail, and I will tie like a jute string. Um, this particular sign I'm going to show you. I did this example is in bright colors, and I just did a black and white kind of polka dot ribbon to make it look like it was just like a handle. That way, I didn't feel like a bow. I felt like it was a little bit too, um, the, the bow would cover up like all the parts of the sign. But it would be, it would be too much. So I just did the ribbon 
I'll do sometimes, just a ribbon. That way there's still something fun on there, but it's not, it's not too much. I just need yeah. to lock some of this off just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put my glue on the back of this and I'm just gonna line it up. Usually I kind of take the top of it like this and line the top of it up with the words and then put it down. Usually you can still see the lines sometimes because they are on the outside of the letters when it etches, if that makes sense. Um, so it's sometimes you can still see those lines. So don't, if you can, don't feel like you did something like you messed it up. Again, the only reason I did the etched lines right here so that, you know, when you have words that are printed, it sometimes is hard to figure out where to put the letters. So the etched lines help. You know, when it's, when it's just like one word that's cursive, you can kind of usually center it pretty decently on your own. If I'm just explaining that just in a very messy way of communicating, but hopefully y'all get what I'm trying to say. Ah. So I just put some glue on the Paper. Sometimes when I have little letters like that, I just kind of I'll put some glue down and I just kind of rub the, the letter in it. That way it's not too thick on the back of the letter. And it doesn't like squeeze out the sides. Or you could just dot it, I guess, but. I have a lot of work to do. I'm re I'm redoing my uh, car keys. I don't know why. I, I'm just I'm just putting all the uh, paper clips out and redoing it. Sorry, because you're bored. Okay, so that's. Look how much better that just made that look because it just pulled some of the white into the hat and just like kind of brought it all in together. Again, um. I do have pretty steady hands. If that ever, if that ever leaves me, then I'm in trouble. So for you, so, um, shaky hands, just do, I, I get the super glue and I just go like this. You could do it like on wax paper. Um, and then I put the words down and I kind of rub, or you could do like my friend Amy uses um, the spray, spray adhesive. You could do that too. I've never tried that. But that probably would be good for you, Gil. Um, another thing that I could have done, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but when the etch lines are already on the sign, I'm dumb. I didn't think about this. Um, when the etch lines are already on the sign, you could just take also the glue and just kind of touch point on some of the, like on the actual sign and then put your words right on top. I don't I forget to do that sometimes. <sighs> Um, but this is really cute and it looks, it looks really cute in person. And then once I'm going to see what kind of ribbon that I have in the closet, I've got all kinds of ribbon. So I'm going to see if I have like a navy ribbon here. So if any of you order this, I'll throw in the, a, a strip of ribbon for you to hang it. So you don't have to go buy a whole roll of ribbon just to hang it. Um, so if anybody purchases a cutout, I'll include the hanging ribbon for you. Um, hey, Gigi. Um, so yeah, this turned out super, super cute. And oh, I gotta add some, some 
some of the glitter. Um, yeah, you can glue the, the hanger on there. That would work. That would work. Thank you. Let's see. I'm going to... What are you doing? I'm going to do this, and this is really going to make it... Well, we don't have that sign anymore. I mean, we have this. This is that looks really, really good. Look how like it just it's, it's this, and it's just kind of iridescent opal. But if you add this on top of these accents, it's really gonna make it sparkle and pull this color out. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It never looks as good. Okay. And the yes. One Yeah. This is gonna look good. And you could even put this on top of your letters. And it will look good. Okay. Sounds good. Um, uh -huh. I'm just finishing up right now. Um let's see. This, I just want to put glitter all over the whole sign because I was just thinking putting it here, but then I was like, ooh, it would look really good on that navy. And this just gives it an extra shine and sparkle. You guys, I'm not a big like glitter person at all, at all. It's not my style. I'm very like plain and kind of just like, boring colors, black, white, gray, blue, but um, I'm not super flashy or anything, but I love this glitter because it gives it, you know, I feel like door hangers are supposed to be, or these kind of signs you don't have to put on your door, but it, it just gives it like, like they're supposed to be fun. These signs are supposed to be fun, and I just think this glitter, this that's like this kind of translucent color it it gives it sparkle without making it look like it's got a ton of glitter on it and I'm just going around the edges. I really just want to cover this whole sign in this glitter, <laughs> in this glitter but I don't want to do too much. Because I'm thinking, oh, should I make the glasses glittery or should I make the lenses glittery? You really get carried away with it fast. But it, this right here just gives it enough sparkle and shine really stand out and so for those of you I, I posted about this and I've used this a couple of times in videos but I get it I got it at Hobby Lobby and it is in the paintbrush aisle it is opal glitter medium I tried to look on Amazon to see if they had it on Amazon and I could not find it there so Hobby Lobby it is guys sorry might be cute to just hang it here and then I'm going to put it a little bit on the words which is you know like the whole sign but I'm not used to painting signs this small either I try to do them a little smaller for the live so that it'll go you know be faster even though it's not super fast it's what two and a half hours like so long, but that's because we had tech issues. But so I try to do a smaller one, and sometimes, like, my I forget, like, my accents are bigger. Um, 
oh, you are intimidated by that. Like, you know, Donna, it's funny because I, um, I need to do another poll in Sign Maker Society because I I polled people like maybe a year ago that were in there and I was like, would you guys rather have two smaller signs a month or one big sign? Because it feels like sometimes that's what I thought too. Like sometimes the, the big signs are more intimidating, right? Um, to paint. And I think sometimes people like put it off put off painting their signs because you know they they take a little bit longer even though like the smaller signs like a tear tray takes just as long as a big sign but it doesn't feel like it's going to um and everybody likes that they said no they wanted the bigger signs but I've got a lot of new people in there now and I should ask not like way smaller but like just you know or do like a sign and an attachment or whatever, but just a little bit smaller. I need to ask again, ask everybody again. But maybe that's why you're in there, Donna, so you can get over your intimidation of the big signs. I feel like the, the little signs do feel less intimidating project wise but i feel like they sometimes they're a lot more work because you know now that i've been in amy's tear tray tear tray group i'm like this is this takes a long time like i've painted a tear tray before but you know doing it as a customer it's like, okay, this, this takes just as long as the door hangers. It just doesn't feel like it's going to. But maybe that's because I'm used to painting the door hangers. And so for me, that goes fast. I'm just dabbing the top of this. It looks really pretty on the white so that it's not like not too much, but sorry this video is so long. I guess I shouldn't say sorry because nobody's forcing you here, but <laughs> Abby's been very, very good. She's getting more used to me doing the videos with just her and I here. Usually I do them this early because last last year she was in preschool and so Tuesdays. She would be in school, so 10 o'clock was just a good time. But now that she's home for summer break, and then she'll be, be, be kindergarten next year. I could change that time to an evening. I'd really like to do Saturday nights, but I'm afraid to commit to Saturday night, just because it's the weekend. Okay, this is taking, taking a little while, sorry. So cute. I love this stuff. Okay, now I feel like I just need to do this. And I swear, like, I'm, I just should have put it over in the entire sign. Right now. <laughs> I feel like it's over the entire sign. Okay, so cute. Look, see how cute those these letters are when they are trying to get a good angle where they're sparkly. You can kind of see them. When I take a picture, it, you'll be able to see it better. These lights are... You know, here we go. Like they're just a tiny bit sparkly. But look, look how cute. It's pretty much it for the whole sign. 